Hi and welcome to my creative lab and in this creative session I'll show you how to make particles in spline and how to attach them to different shapes, like I attach it to the character, to make like kind of hologram effect. Go to the spline, which is browser-based platform, register and create new file. Choose any kind of 3D objects or 2D if you like and add to the scene. I'll change the background color to the darker one, so that particles can be seen better. So we have our 3D, let's add particles. They are added as an object to the scene, and on the right side tool panel we will change settings to get a desirable result. You can change color, make it random or blended colors. Change size of the particles. Burst rate, this option regulates particle frequency, should look the bush or infrequent. Lifetime is also quite important setting, that makes your animation last longer or can be short and stick to the object. Very nice option that you can change the shape of the particles to your custom image. But for now we'll stick with the, the default shape. And this is where you attach particles to your 2D or 3D shape, in our case 3D text. Correct the size of the shape of particles if you want, for example, that it should be a bit bigger than the object itself. Gravity changes direction of the particle movements. And play with particle noise, it gives different uh, ways of attachment to the object. Don't afraid if you select other object and the particles stop working. When select again or in a play preview mode, they work fine. Another particle modification is particle force, which interacts with particles and make very fun results. That's it for this tutorial, but I have last thing to mention. As an idea, you can create an avatar as hologram with particles, then add it to your portfolio website. And how to do it I show in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and not to forget to subscribe for more upcoming creative videos that I'll be releasing soon.